forecast. Thank you, Whitney. I, <laughs> I appreciate that. Not everyone wants to hear about the forecast uh, today. A little bit of precipitation, I think, for the morning hours. All eyes will be on our system that's developing in the Gulf of Alaska. This thing is way, way out to the west northwest, but you can see some precipitation falling. A lot of this is weakening as it is tracking from southwest to northeast. So if you do encounter it, just going to be some really light stuff and with temperatures around freezing, it could freeze on impact for the next two or three hours. And then with temperatures rising above freezing for all spots around southeast Wisconsin, there will be some improvements along with the precipitation. There's some fog around the visibility is under a quarter of a mile for Fond du Lac, about a half a mile Beaver Dam. And it's gone down the last hour from Milwaukee, Racine, and even West Bend at one and a half miles there. There'll be improvements, I think, by nine o'clock as well. Temperatures around freezing for a lot of spots, including Sheboygan, West Bend, Waukesha, Watertown at freezing 32, 35 in the city, 36 in Racine, almost 40 at the Selwer Kenosha. That's where all the temperatures I think are going to go by this afternoon. Precipitation comes to an end this morning, a mix of sun and clouds, especially I think by late this afternoon, 42 that high temperature. Several disturbances to talk about on our satellite radar. This warm front moving right in the lower third of the Badger State, a cold front that'll slice into the area I think by Tuesday night, Wednesday. But all the talk on social media and your forecast is Thursday and Friday with this big, possibly blockbuster winter storm pushing through the area. There's two tracks we're looking at for the majority of the computer models. Track number one is bringing it into northern parts of Illinois, southern Wisconsin, and another track just south of that. Track two would bring more snow for southeastern Wisconsin, and that could mean maybe more than five or six inches of snow if it does take track number two. Track number one, I think, would be mainly rain for our area. Our computer model indicating through maybe as early as Thursday morning the chance of a mix. This model indicating uh, pushing the low a little bit farther south, so that would mean more winter weather. But at this point, truly, it's up in the air. Being completely honest, I want to give you the facts on what I'm thinking for in this forecast. The timing, we have a pretty good idea. It looks like it's going to be late this week, Thursday into Friday morning. Precipitation type and those temperatures all over the place. To give you an idea for Friday, some computer models in indicating upper 40s, lower 50s, others upper 20s, lower 30s. That's the difference in this forecast. So that's why we're staying with rain to snow mix. Heaviest snow right now in our computer models are in the northern parts of Wisconsin. But either way, rain, snow, it doesn't matter. There will be hazardous driving. And then behind the storm system, it turns very cold for the Christmas part of the season here as we get into the 20s for the weekend and into early next week. We have a couple of days in the 40s for Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, potentially even Thursday. But really, those highs will plummet in a big way down in the teens and lower 20s for around Christmas. Andy. We remain incident free for the moment. No action.